Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Nick Gray at CES 2024. And just like last year, we're kicking off the show at the Blue Eddy booth, looking at the new products that they're showing up for their lineup this year. There's a lot of exciting stuff. And I have Phil here to help us sort through all the new products. So question to you. Can you give me a little bit of a high-level highlight for what you guys are showing off this year at CES 2024? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, we're, we're showing off a lot of great products uh, this year. Uh, we got a combo pack called the Solar Swap that comes with a multi-cooler and an expandable power station. Uh, well, they, they work together. I'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, then we have an AC240, which is a weather-resistant uh, power station with expandable batteries as well. We're also introducing our new uh, solar rooftop pilot, only available in Texas right now, but we plan to go nationwide this year. I'm very excited to awesome. talk more about that as well. Yeah, it, it seems like every year you guys show up at CES, you're inching into another new category or expanding the categories that you're already in, and the lineup has gone from just a handful of products to a plethora now, which is really nice to see. So my first question is going to be for you. There's the new AC180T, which as the name seems is very similar to the current AC180, and then you also have the 180P. Can you tell me a little bit how this new product is different than the ones that you already have in the lineup as the 180? Yeah, so this is actually a totally different kind of product. Uh, so it's part of our solar swap combo pack. It works together with a multi-cooler, uh, but it has uh, batteries that you can take out. So okay. they come with these batteries that are in the unit, and then you can pull them out, use them as kind of a power bank, no AC, DC power only. So you charge your laptops, your phone type of thing. Creating kind of a modular battery system where you can use the battery itself for one application or another. And can the batteries themselves that are you're pulling out be charged individually or do they need to be in the unit itself when they're being charged? Yeah, you can charge them in the unit or you can charge them in the multi-cooler. Okay. Uh, you can't charge them uh, outside. Just separately on their own. There's no additional charging capabilities there. You mentioned the cooler, which is nice to see. Uh, this is a first for you guys. There have been some competition there where this has been around for a while, but the unique capabilities with the swappable batteries, I think, is something interesting to highlight. But can you tell me why an LFP battery powered multi cooler is really needed when? You know, people have been using regular coolers on a regular basis when they go camping or they're doing a party in their backyard. Sure, because it's a refrigerated unit, there's no need to add ice. So you get to maximize the space. It's a 40 liter compartment that's like 65 soda cans okay. that you can have. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, it's enough food to last you for three days easily. Nice. It's a refrigerator, an ice, a freezer, and an ice maker all in one. And because it has that battery power, there's no cord to tangle up with or trip over. It's a really nice unit. Our family, we go camping on a regular basis once it, once or twice a year, but we're going out into the boonies where there's no plug-ins or anything like that where you could bring a regular cooler that you would have to power on your own rather than a built-in battery. So this seems like the perfect alternative to something like that because you're bringing your own power with you. And you mentioned at the beginning the AC240 and the fact that it is weather resistant. Um, we double checked the numbers and it's an IP65 rating. What was the reasoning there as to why you guys needed to add it that at this point? Yeah, so this is like uh, all kind of all weather device, right? Yeah. So these are meant to be used outdoors. If it starts raining, you don't need to worry about the battery on the inside shorting out or water water ingress into the system itself. 100%, that's awesome. correct. I, I think the interesting thing for this category for a long time is they've always been pitched as this accessory for outdoor living, mm -hmm. but very few have had IP ratings in the past. And now that you guys are getting into it, I think, I think that enhances the, the story there as to, yes, this is an outdoor product. And you also mentioned the new Solar Plus program that you guys are like kickstarting in Texas and kicking that off and hopefully going nationwide later on. Can you explain a little bit more about that? So we have this called an EP line, which is emergency power. That's what it stands for. And so it's, a, it's an all-in-one system. You can add up to four batteries per uh, inverter unit. So basically you buy more energy as you need it for this home storage. So mm -hmm. you can get up to 40 kilowatts. That's enough to power a home. A regular for, yeah, for a few days, house, yeah. right? Um, but it starts off with like 10 kilowatts. So that's perfect for your essential circuits. Essentially creating a modular system based off of how much you actually need, right? Yeah, 100%, that's, that's right. So 
What we found was that, you know, the solar and the batteries go together. There is a big hole in the solar market right now. It's a trust issue. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Blue Eddy, we're a trusted brand. And so we think we can bring back uh, some more trust into that space. And with Solar Plus, are you partnering with local solar installers? Or are you guys launching your own team with doing yeah. the installations yourself? Can you explain a little bit? Yeah, more right now works? we're partnering with uh, local installers, okay. uh, trusted ones that we vet. Uh, we, we take more uh, responsibility for the whole supply chain okay. so the, from start to finish. So we'll do QA checks and things like the quality assurance checks at the home after the installer is done. Um, and, you know, we're trying to take more responsibility for the So home. kind of a holistic approach to it rather than just getting a battery from somewhere else, getting solar panels from somewhere else, finding an electrician to install the system. Yeah, correct. Also, uh, one of the important things that we're doing is where we are, you know, we're trying to drive down the price of solar because, uh, you know, we're a green company. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very important for us. Uh, we're trying to save the planet. Awesome. And with that, you're launching initially in Texas, plans to go nationwide coming later this year, adding one state at a time, or how, how's that rollout looking? Yeah, so right now we're looking for our partners in uh, different locations. Uh, you know, the trouble for us is each location has its own rules and regulations. Eight state, state, region, county has their own regulations right. for so, solar. Right, so yeah. we're, we're really taking our time to vet these uh, installers to make sure they're the best in the region and we're partnering with the right people. Luetti has a LAF program. So the, it's the LAF. So L-A-A-F. LAF, LAF, right, for short. Uh, it's called Lighting an African Family. Okay. And so this is kind of giving back to the community. What we're doing is going to African countries and giving away, uh, you know, power to people that don't have it, right? So that that's really important because not having electric lights mm -hmm. at night means you can't study at night. You can't go to school. Yep. Um, as soon as the sun goes down, that's the end of your day, right? Correct. Also, another thing is they have uh, they have a lot of cell phones. Cell phone networks are all over Africa but they have to go travel a half a day to the village to charge their phone and then bring it back. So we're, we're giving people back their time, not just the power. And you know, like how many families you're helping per year or how many you guys have done already or yeah, what's the program rollout for that? We've already uh, helped a uh, thousand families plus awesome. and, and we're, we're going to expand uh, many more in the, in the future. That's awesome. It's always nice to see a larger company give back to communities where there's a lot of need. Um, so glad to see you guys doing that. Anything else that you wanted to add for CES 2024 or any of the highlights that you think we kind of missed on? Uh, one thing I, I would like to add uh, is, you know, we, on all of our products, we use lithium iron phosphate uh, chemistry. Yep. So uh, it's the most safe chemistry to use. And that's that's what we're about, right? So we, we want to power longer your life cycles too. Longer life cycles, right? So uh, that's another thing with the cooler is it's the first one that we know of that is powered by lithium iron phosphate. Yeah, yeah. It's you go to some of the competitors and they tell you, oh, we get 400 to 500 charge cycles, and compared to lithium iron phosphate, 2,000 to 3,000, sometimes even 4,000 makes a huge difference. It's lasting 10 years plus. That's right. These are 10-year batteries. Yeah. Uh, we warranty you. Uh, different products for different lifetimes yep. but these these are going to last you your, a good long while so perfect well thank you so much for your time ces 2024 there's a lot more to see but if you want to check out blue eddie's new products make sure you check out the link in the video description below and also check out fandroid.com thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one